the podcast featuring Amy Robach and TJ Holmes about their lustful romance is quickly losing steam. Through our ears, not our eyes, have Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, the icons of noon TV intended for listeners in the back of taxi cars, made a magnificent comeback into society. A year to the day they were told to leave their positions as co-anchors of GMA3 and take an indefinite leave of absence following the revelation of their romance, Amy Robach and TJ. Holmes debuted their podcast, Amy and TJ, last week, considering that they have an entire year to come up with and create their ideas, and that they are no longer constrained by the Puritan ideals of daytime TV. I was more optimistic about their improved reputation. Before November 30, 2022, I was unaware of the identities of either of these individuals, and their courtship enthralled me, as did a country brought up on the maxims love wins and, or don't let your husband stop you from finding the love of your life. This new podcast would undoubtedly take advantage of that momentum in order to explore topics like the benefits and drawbacks of blended families or the stigmas associated with partnerships in the workplace. That is not what it has done. Perhaps it will eventually get it there, but the first two episodes are incredibly boring attempts at self-mythologizing. GMA3 is likely to boot Amy Robach and TJ Holmes off. About as titillating as the show's title, the first episode was Amy saying the name's TJ and an out loud evokes the same level of sensual interest as pairing two persons at random to work on a class assignment. The entire episode this week was a recap of Robach and Holmes' week following the podcast's December 5th premiere. These included a dinner with Robach's parents, which Holmes was able to deduct as a business expense, the outfit that Holmes' daughter wore to iHeartRadio's Jingle Ball, and a wedding that they attended where they were mistakenly accused of dirty dancing by the tabloids. Robach teases Holmes, saying, You and I know, and everyone at the wedding knows, you didn't even get on the dance floor. The notion that we were, sort of, dirty dancing at a reception for a wedding where the band and the music was in the yacht rock genre. With astonishment, Holmes joins in on the raucous laughter.